Hey there. <clears throat> Got a uh, example here of a uh, schematic toilet partitions, something I've been kicking around for a while. Uh, talked about it recently with a few different places. Um, it boils down to this. Uh, I want a quick way to sketch toilet partitions without having to go looking for components and pre-assembled stuff, at least in schematic design. So what I've got here is a wall type, another wall type, and a door type. And the notion here is that the wall type has type properties. And what I've done is I've gone in and I've set up some information here. And the key thing here is that there's an assembly code value that I've used toilet partitions. And then what I've done, the typical problem with using a wall for this type of thing is that the line weights end up really heavy and they look like, uh, well, not very good anyway. So what I'm using in this view, or any view that would show these things, is a filter. And I've got a filter that's set up for partitions, and I've overridden the line weight for projection and cut. And the filter itself is set up to look at doors and walls, and an assembly code value, and both families have this assembly code value assigned. So the combination of using this filter, these walls and doors, ultimately give me a reasonably good appearance. When I zoom out, take a look, the walls don't overpower the drawing any more than these thick lines for the wall uh, do. If I look at a sheet here, what I've got is a little assembly of information. So the notion of a 3D set of walls that gives you a, a basic appearance of partitions. You can see the toilet height in the back there. Um, <clears throat> and then in plan, I can see this. And then what I've got is a toilet partition schedule. And again, it's filtering, looking for uniformat stuff. So I'm not getting regular doors. I'm not getting regular walls in the schedule at all. And this gives me a quick way of talking about these things without having to spend a lot of time hunting for the exact parts on the web, at least not in schematic design. So anyway, it's uh, one way to go. Just something to keep your uh, mind uh, creative anyway, right? Okay, hope it helps.